Good afternoon, this is Braden Rant from Second Life and today we're going to be going through how to uh, make the sofa uh, that I released as a free item on uh, on X Street. Uh, I can't guarantee I won't make any mistakes uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through each step and uh, We'll see how we go from there. Right, as you can see, we've got Blender open, and the first thing that I want to do is uh, is create a a cube. So we'll open up Blender, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, sorry about the pause there. I was just turning on screen keys so that you can see which uh, which screens that I'm pressing. Right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to res a cube. Right, so we'll go to our uh, uh, mesh window which is control a and then we'll create a, a cube like so right now what we're going to do is we're going to mirror this cube uh, reason being is because uh, a, a sofa is pretty much symmetrical on both sides and we only really then have to mirror uh, we only have to uh, model half of the cube right now uh, a mirror modifier will always mirror from the origin which if you remember from my last tutorial is the orange dot in the middle of the uh, of the uh, the mesh so as we want to do it from the center there's two ways of doing this either we can split it in half or we could just change the origin to being something more in the center so what we'll do is we'll move our cube uh, to just off center like so and then what I'm going to do is press Control S, and then we'll put the cursor to center, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Object, and we'll go to Transform, and then we'll go Origin to 3D Cursor, like so. And then what we can do is we can then go up to our Modifiers uh, button, which is the little spanner uh, icon. And we add a modifier, and then we go to uh, we go to mirror. So, like so. Now you can see we've now got a uh, a two cubes, and uh, we'll also turn on clipping. Now, if we was to move one of these cubes, right? Uh, there we go, and move it like so. As you can see. They're mirrors of each other. Right, so what we'll do is, uh, with these cubes, we're going to create the basis of the seat. So we'll scale those down along the Z-axis. So it's S, Z. And we can scale it down like so. Uh, we'll just check to see what the position is like. So uh, we'll move that back a little bit so we can grab it and move it on the Y-axis. Like so. Right. Now, uh, at this present moment, let's say that they're the seat cushions, so we'll grab those, move them down a little bit, like so. We're not going to put any detail in at the moment, we're actually just going to get the, the uh, outlining form of, of the, uh, the sofa for the moment. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to create the arms. Now, the way I create the arms for this style of sofa is with a cylinder. Uh, so what we'll do is again control a and we'll create a uh, a cylinder now most cylinders i generally go for 32 vertices is is roughly uh round enough uh for a passable cylinder and we're trying to create for second life so we don't really want to have too many uh too many vertices you can add more in if you want but in this instance we, we really just want to have uh have the basis so we can grab once we know that that's okay i'll grab that oh because clipping's on turn off clipping for that and we'll move them apart like so go to a side view and we'll rotate that minus 90 and we'll scale it down so it's a realistic proportion to the arms and then we'll scale it along the y-axis To get an arm like so we can just check it to make sure it's it's the right kind of uh the right kind of scale right so once we've done that right we don't need the center uh poles 
on uh, on these mesh items so what we'll do is we'll box it out to box select anything it's B so we can select those out and we can delete the vertices that creates essentially a cylinder with no ends so once we've got the cylinder with no ends I'm going to select the vertices uh, sorry the edges like so and then what I'll do is I'll grab them and move them down onto the Z axis like so uh, and as you can see that's that's starting to feel uh, a bit more a bit more as we like it so we'll box that out there and we'll scale those on the Z axis like so uh, I'll just move them down bring them out and uh, I'll box like this one out and just move that out a little bit so right okay so we've now got the the basis of of the arms uh, I just want to move those out a little bit away from the uh, from the sofa cushion like so right now this may be a little bit angular uh, in game but at this stage we're just doing a, a very light uh, model process we will say be putting more detail as we go along but what we'll do is from here if you select the edge with a shift and a right click and then what we're going to do is we'll press e to extrude then left click and then scale right and we can bring that in like so and scaling never really scales evenly uh around the uh the existing mesh uh on this version of uh of blender i believe on 2.63 which has uh, better mesh tools and b mesh uh you can actually get the scale to be equal all the way around so as it isn't we can actually just go in there and we can manually bring it in to a, a, a more uh equal distance like so right and I'll just uh, bring those down so we've got a little bit more a bit more equal right and that'll be the the start of the end of your uh, your arm what we will then do is uh, we can put in an extra edge loop like so Right, and that way we can uh, we can start to curve the end of our arm like such. Okay, uh, we haven't got anything at the opposite end just yet, but as you can see, it has been mirrored over to the other side. So you know we we've got the arms going on, and we've got the uh, the initial seat cushion uh, mesh work right. So what we can do from there, I'm going to put in another edge loop just to uh, equalise the bottom there. Right, okay, so uh, let's look at what we've done so far and move on to the next step. Okay, before I uh, move on to progress uh, with filling in the holes on the end of the sofa arms, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the uh, the sofa cushions a little bit so I'm going to bring those closer together and uh, what I want to do is to create a piping effect around the edge of the seat cushions now what we can't do is we can't put any uh, any loop cuts on the face of the item so but what we can do is we can put it along the edge if I can actually get to the edge like so right, and we can move that up and what we'll do is we'll do the same to the along the bottom so we'll move that down and then once we've done that we can set all the edges on that face and we can scale that face in slightly like so that will give us a beveled edge uh, we want to elaborate slightly on that beveled edge uh, but what we'll do is we'll also do the same to the bottom like so and we'll scale that in slightly right, and as you can see we've now got a beveled edge to the, to the seat cushion 
uh, and we can repeat that process until we get the desired effect. Uh, so let's just let's just elaborate on on getting that uh, that edge a little bit more refined. So I'll bring that in. Uh, as you can see, I've created a a loop cut there, so I can extrude on that loop cut. And then I can actually take that down like so. Right, and that's giving us a seat that yes, it's a bit a bit angular, right? I accept that. But uh what we'll do is we'll uh there we go. And we can bring that up a little bit more. And then we can do the same to the uh to the front edges as well. So we can bring that in. from there uh, as you can see blender is not an exact science so don't ever feel uh, concerned if you can't get it right first time uh, it's very rare that I get anything right first time as you can probably tell uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll add some loop cuts in the center of the uh, in the center of the seat cushion I'll just pull three at a time and then I can grab those vertices like so uh, you can do that in face select if you like but I'll I'll actually bring that up to give the seat a little bit more of a of a uh, a puffy edge we wanted to actually have more uh, more loop cuts to that uh, just to get the seat cushion a little bit more uh, more rounded so I'm going to add some more in uh, we can obviously delete any that we don't want but in doing this now, uh, we can round off the uh, the edges, and we can also bring out the uh, the extent of the the swell in the seat cushion uh, far better. So I'm just highlighting these vertices out. We will be coming to the end of this part very very soon, uh, only because of the limitations of the video. Uh, so we'll pull that up like so right and then what we'll do uh, is just quickly we'll grab these edges like so and we'll just grab them in so we, we're starting to soften off uh, the the rather sharp uh, nature of this cushion uh, but what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just finish this off and then that'll be it for the this uh, first stage of this tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time we'll be continuing with the seat cushions and uh, we'll move on to the seat back and we'll fill in the holes etc so for now I'd like to say thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day bye bye